Uh, it's been about 10 months of waiting. Um, a couple days ago, this arrived. It's my Trent Guitars Model 1, and it came all the way from the UK and England. So today I'll unbox it, I'll give you a rundown of the specs and the customizations that I chose, share some tones, compare it to a couple other guitars that inspired me wanting to make this, my Firebird and my Jaguar, and I'll give you my first impression. Before we get started, subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's for a chance to win a Boss Katana 50 Mark II in white or a Fender GTX 50. Um, and if you're one of the first thousand subscribers to my channel, you'll automatically be entered to win. And you'll get one of the ones that I used in the video I made up here, or up here, I don't know which direction, about kind of shooting them out and comparing a couple different tubeless amp options if you want to check that out. So subscribe now, really appreciate it. It will help me get to my milestone of getting to a thousand subscribers. And let's get to it. So if you haven't heard of Trent Guitars, you should definitely check them out on Instagram, links below. Caution, you will definitely be enticed. Uh, they are these beautiful, updated takes on classic electric guitar styles. The Model 1, which I have here, is an offset that kind of harkens back to the Jazzmaster Jaguar sort of vibe, um, but it also feels modern. It almost feels a little St. Vincent-esque, like around the neck. And they're all hand-built one by one. You can customize your order. You can choose from an awesome range of colors. Pick your scale length, your bridge type, more. T definitely check out their site. He also has a Model 2, which is kind of like a double cut, Les Paul different take. And they also make the Model 1 in a sort of Mustang bass inspired format. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Definitely tempted by that. Uh, but yeah, it's an impressive lineup for a single person. Um, uh, those are my daughters. Uh, it's an impressive lineup for a single person boutique guitar company um, that only launched, I think, last year. All of that's been helped by, like, they got 9 out of 10 uh, score in guitar.com. They were editor's choice. They were shortlisted for Guitar of the Year in 2021. So pretty awesome pedigree and definitely a company to watch. What drew me to Trent Guitars originally was I saw them on Instagram. They nailed this classic but different vibe. It doesn't look too modern. Wouldn't look out of place in the market 50 or 60 years ago, but it feels fresh and it feels new. And upon first seeing them, I think on Instagram around Halloween 2021, I just became infatuated. I definitely customized a couple different builds, like, and then abandoned my shopping cart. And finally, in February earlier this year, I just pulled the trigger and figured I'd, I'd try one out. So as we go on, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Can't wait to hear. Can't wait to unbox this and check it out for the first time with you. Wow, it's a nice case. It looks like it's a Hiscock case made in England. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it is. It is gorgeous. In the case, got a certificate of authenticity here. I ordered an extra pick guard of mine uh, in parchment just in case I didn't like the spotted port. But by the looks of it, I think I'm going to love it. Case comes with some keys. There's a vibrato arm in here. Oh my gosh. There it is. Wow. Really light. I am impressed. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, neck feels really nice. And so this is my Trent Model 1. Um, it's an Obech or Obesh, uh, I've heard pronounced both ways, body. Um, and it's in safety orange uh, with a matching headstock. And uh, you've got the option to leave the headstock matching or uh, unfinished based on what you want. He uses a um, water-based stain. It's not your typical poly or nitro finish. So it's kind of got this satin look to it. I know it looks kind of glossy, but it's not super glossy. And my customization choices, um, like I said, they were kind of inspired by my Jaguar and Firebird. So it's a shorter scale length, it's 24 and three quarter scale length. And so I went with a seven and a quarter inch fretboard radius, um, kind of a la old Fender feeling. And they call the neck carve a chunky C. It's really nice, it's really comfortable. It feels a lot like a little bit maybe chunkier than the modern C that uh, Fender has been releasing, um, but it, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel too chunky, doesn't feel baseball batty or anything like that. 
And uh, for me, I can get my thumb around it and play up here, it feels like, uh, which is nice. And so the fretboard is a Bolivian Rosewood. Um, the, their Jeskar 47095 fret, it's kind of like a medium fret wire. And this is the 21 fret model. You can get 22 frets if you want them. Uh, it's got a kind of Jazzmaster style, Jaguar style trim system, vibrato system at the bottom. Um, which I think is made by Hosco. You can upgrade to the Descendant vibrato system too if you're interested in that. Or you can actually go string through the body, hardtail. Um, it kind of is like a minimal three brass saddle telly style bridge, but cut down a little bit. It reminds me of the um, bridges that Fender put on the Elite Series thin line tellies. Um, if that means anything to you. And yeah, so this is a spotted tort guard. You can customize that as well, black, parchment, whatever you want. And for the pickups, I went with a Firebird inspired pickup in the bridge um, from House of Tone called a Firehouse. And in the neck, it's a P90 that uh, Trent winds themselves, it's called a Trent 90. And what else? It's got Cluson deluxe style tuners, sort of a satin finish on the back of the neck. Um, 500k CTS pots. It's got a three-way selector and it's got like a laser engraved Trent neck plate there. You can see the Trent logo up here at the top on the matching headstock. Looks great. I love the headstock shape. Again, I think just nailed it. It's overall, it's body shape, it's headstock shape. Like I said, it feels like it could be classic 50, 60 years old, but it also feels super fresh and modern at the same time. Just amazing job. I love the customization options too. Like working with Elliot was super easy. We went back and forth a couple times on the pickup configuration. It was like a mini humbuckers at first, but I love the sound of my Firebird. And so I was excited to get one of those in here. <laughs> you can thank um, Mule Resophonics and Ariel Posen and uh, the 70s, I guess, for this cool spotted tort guard. It's, um, I love the way that it looks and it was definitely sort of inspired by that. And against the orange with the matching headstock, I am just, I am blown away. I, I think that this is actually one of the coolest looking guitars I own now. And it might be my first and only orange guitar, which might mean I have an entire rainbow now, uh, complete of guitars, which is kind of rad. Very cool. I am so excited. So this is how it sounds acoustic. Really rings, feels really balanced. It doesn't feel super top heavy or wanna dive or anything like that. Anyway, let's plug it in and uh, see how the tones sound. Like it. It's got that really nice top end to it. Um, I could play that all day. Um, all right, let's check out the neck position. Oh, it just likes to ring. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
All right, well, interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, let's see what it sounds like with a little bit of drive. Okay, so that was the bridge and the middle. It almost sounds like it could be out of phase, which is kind of interesting. Okay, and the neck pickup. All right, so I am excited and optimistic that I can find a way to kind of balance these pickups a little bit more for what I was looking for, which actually is a great time to kind of lead me into the next thing, which is like, I wanted to compare it against the Firebird that I have because I really love the tone of the Firebird so much. Um, and also the Jaguar that I have, because again, those are the two guitars that kind of inspired me to um, to make this. So i um, really excited. I will keep you posted as I have some conversations with uh, Elliot at Trent and uh, really looking forward to it. So let's move on. Let's check out the Firebird. Okay, so this is my, I think it's a 2015 Firebird. It's a non-reverse Firebird. Uh, has two stock pickups in it from Gibson. Um, it was made for the Japanese market, apparently. I don't know if that's a true story or not, but that's kind of how it was told to me. I really like it. Um, I really love how it has like a nice, really like almost single coil top end to it. And um, yeah, this is what it sounds like. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So that was the middle position. I love the middle position on this. I think it sounds so good. It's so balanced. Uh, it sounds so rich and warm, but clear. I, I love it. I love this thing. And the only thing I don't like about it is, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a really long guitar. I can't even like really fit it in the frame there. But yeah, I, 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 I love the sound of this guitar. And I am really excited to have the Firebird pick up in the bridge of that one, uh, which is really cool. And yeah, so um, now let's take a look at the Jaguar. So this is my Jaguar. It's a, a 2019 Custom Shop Jaguar. I really love it. I got a great deal on it when I found it. It's in my uh, top five guitars and it's just so comfortable to play. I love the offset body. So what I was kind of hoping for is that the Trent would be the perfect hybrid of this and the Firebird. And I just, I love the way this feels. There's something about the Jaguar pickups that are just a little bit thin sound to them. And here's just the neck pickup. So anyway, like the feel of this guitar, I really love. I love that the Trent feels a lot like this guitar, just in terms of the way it's balanced, the you know, scale length, all of that kind of stuff. Um, I love that it has the bridge Firebird pickup. I'm really digging like the kind of high fidelity, clear sound that it has. Um, and yeah, if I can get the kind of volume and the uh, tone balance between the bridge and the neck pickup, it's a uh, clear winner in terms of being able to have the best of both worlds of these sort of shorter scale length um, offset style guitars that I have. Super pumped about it. Overall, like fit and finish, it feels really good. The setup is great. I mean, the action is like, is perfect. I'm really, really pumped about the look of it, the way it feels. I want to play it more. The way the like sort of neck carve is around the headstock, it just feels really good. It feels really nice to play, really well built. It feels like it's high quality. Um, I love the look of it so much. Um, and yeah, so I just got to figure out the pickup thing. I'll keep you posted about how that goes. And then, um, I just want to say thanks so much for watching. This has been an awesome, awesome experience unboxing this and uh, really look forward to uh, the next video. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. If you find this useful, you could win a Katana or a GTX 50 if um, you're one of the first thousand subscribers. So, um, but it's getting up there. I'm like at 930 right now. So next 70 people still have a chance to win. Um, thanks so much for watching. This has been Dad Time Jam Time. Um, cheers.